Hi guys, my name is Kelly and you're watching That Smells Divine. Today we have a really exciting video. So basically for the past couple of months I've had this YouTube channel and I've been a fragrance addict for years now, but I've always prided myself on um, having fragrances in my collection that most people haven't heard of, people don't talk about that often, etc. And so recently I went onto the Twisted Lily website and I made an order and I purchased 15 samples of fragrances that I hear everyone talking about. There's maybe like one or two that I just was super curious about, but most of these fragrances are fragrances that I hear other YouTubers talking about that I am like embarrassed to admit that I've never smelled before. So this is a very exciting video. I was gonna put this off until tomorrow, but I literally cannot sit here in my house with this without opening it because <laughs> I'm so excited for what's inside. And yeah, let's dive right in. Before we start this video too, I just want to acknowledge the fact that like the lighting is terrible. I have no makeup on. I'm like a hot sweaty mess. This is just an example of how much passion I have for fragrances. Like I literally cannot wait to open this. Literally cannot wait. So we're just going to do it now. I'm going to go ahead and start opening the package. If this is your first time on my channel, please say hi in the comments. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe. I am a brand new channel, so any support, any engagement helps. I really appreciate you guys being here. This is my first time ordering samples from Twisted Lily. So this is cool. They give you like blotters with... Um, yeah, like a space to put little notes. So I'm gonna grab a pen. Uh, yeah, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm like breaking up with dabber samples. And so I've been ordering a lot from Lucky Scent and from Scent Split. And unfortunately, most of their samples are dabbers. And so that's why I kind of took the foray into Twisted Lily. Um, I have ordered maybe one or two full-size fragrances from Twisted Lily in the past. I've had great experiences. I know other people rave about them, so I was like, I heard that they did spray samples, so obviously I was like, okay, we're gonna get all the samples from Twisted Lily. Uh, but it's really cool that they included these because then I can, you know, intentionally go through the samples. So that's exciting. Okay, so first of all, it looks like um, we've got a coupon and more blotters, so that's fun. Usually with my videos, especially when I do my seven sample series, I talk about the notes as I'm smelling. I forgot to mention this, but well, I guess it's kind of implied, but every single one of these fragrances I've never smelled before. Um, and I obviously just opened my package on camera. So you're getting my like full first impressions. I haven't even looked at the notes. For some of these fragrances, I know about the notes because I hear other people talking about them. Um, but I'm literally going in blind. And as I edit the video, I will put up the notes I think it'll be on this side of the screen or this side and you guys can like read the notes but this is also a fun little game for me to see if I can pick out notes and if I'm like yeah like experiencing um, like if my nose is getting experienced you know so this is really exciting okay the very first fragrance is by um, the house of oud and it's called what about pop and this is not something I've heard I've only heard like one reviewer talk about it but I also, I know that this has a note of like salted popcorn and I'm just really curious about that because I love any sort of gourmand like foodie scents. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a sniff. It came in this cute little sample. Here's the juice. This, this is good. It definitely has like a popcorn smell to it. The reason I'm not like blown away is because it kind of smells almost exactly like my um, Sharosa 62, I think it is, that I just got. So spoiler alert, because I'm gonna be featuring it on a blind buy haul video. Um, but yeah, this, literally smells exactly like that. <laughs> so that's that. Yeah, so for me personally, I feel like the House of Oud fragrances are not cheap from what I know. And I personally would not 
get a full bottle of that as it stands right now because I just I have my Charosa 62 um, which obviously is like a lot less expensive and kind of smells literally exactly the same but obviously like with all of these I'm gonna wear test them and you know you never know how things develop on your skin okay moving on to the next sample we have Amouage material and I have heard so many people rave about this and I've never smelled anything from Amouage like how can you be a fragrance reviewer and not have smelled anything from Amouage so um, this is what the sample looks like. I have an expectation of this one being a very vanilla forward scent if my memory serves me. So let's go ahead and give this a spritz. Ooh. Yum. This is like a spicy, boozy vanilla. It's very, it's spicy. I almost feel like I would not wear this in the summertime. Um, yeah, it's really pretty though. It's uh, like resinous. I wonder if there's like some Peru balsam in here maybe. Um, also, I'm kind of getting like a Nishane Ani vibe. Sort of like it's it's got that like spicy vanilla-ness that's so like it turns into this kind of like, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but this kind of like cough syrup thing. It also kind of reminds me of my grandmother, but not, it doesn't smell like an old lady. It just smells like something she used to have in her bathroom. Like it kind of smells like her tar soap. Did anyone else's grandmother used to keep like a bar of black tar soap? Yeah, this is interesting. I'm really excited to play with this. I feel like this is, gonna be a hit. I think it might be more of a warmer weather, or sorry, colder weather fragrance, but yeah, I'm really excited to wear test this. Okay, moving on, we've got something in this little packet. Oh, it's the um, Roja Oud Parfum, which I hope I got the right one. I heard, I think her name's Sharita. I can't remember the name of her channel. I'll link it down below, but I heard her talk about this and I was like, the way she explained it and described it, I was like, I have to get my nose on that. So I, like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not super into ouds yet. I haven't written them off. I just haven't played with them enough yet. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to kind of explore this one. Okay, so the juice is super dark. <laughs> it's like really dark. It's like a reddish brown. I would maybe not spray this on a white article of clothing. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> this is, this is not what I expected. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I definitely smell oud, but it's not, it's not like any other oud I've ever smelled. It has like this really like pretty like almost like floral tobacco thing going on. It's pretty smoky. I don't know what the flower is that I'm getting. It almost smells like bug spray but not in a bad way. It just like almost has kind of this like citronella thing going on. This I definitely cannot wait to try on my skin because I feel like it's just gonna do some crazy, crazy things. Yeah, that's really interesting. I'm excited to play with this. Okay, next we have something I keep hearing about. <laughs> Never tried it. It's called uh, Mise en Sur and it's For Your Love, I believe is the one I got. <laughs> For Your Love. No, I didn't get For Your Love. I got Très Cher. Très Cherie? Très Cher. Um, because I've heard multiple people talk about this and talk about how much they love it. Okay, so Très Cher Me by Me Sincere. 
I can't remember who I heard talk about this, but I heard a couple people talk about it and they were like raving. I was really excited for this one. I can't remember what notes they said. I can't remember anything except that they were just raving about it. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, it's interesting. It has a little bit of like a, it has a little bit of an Ariana Grande cloud thing going on, maybe. Interesting. It's pretty, it's like soft and feminine. Um, I don't know what florals are in here. Hmm. It's very girly. It's pretty. I'm going to put up the notes. But it definitely has like almost like a Baccarat Rouge thing almost going on. Um, definitely not like, I wouldn't call it a dupe or I wouldn't even call it like an inspired buy. It's just there's something in this that kind of reminds me of that. Um, and then it kind of also has like a little bit of a similarity to Ariana Grande's Cloud in like sort of its creamy fluffiness. It's like a creamy, fluffy, soft, pretty fragrance. So yeah, I'm excited to wear to test this one as well. I'm not super excited. I thought I was gonna love it more, but of course, obviously that will change potentially when I uh, wear test it. Okay, moving on, we've got this little sample, Twisted Lily. This one is... It's Maison Margiela's By the Fireplace. Can you believe I haven't smelled this yet? Like, what? Okay, let's give this a sniff. This sprayer isn't really working, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. It's pretty, it's smoky, it's um, it's like sweet smoky. I feel like if you like Memoirs of a Trespasser, you'll probably like this. Or, um, oh, what's it called? Architects Club by Arquiste. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, I feel like it could go masculine or feminine, like very unisex, very smoky, very like crackly fire, like it literally smells like a fireplace, um, but not in a gross way because there's like some sweetness coming in that I'm guessing is like vanilla. Um, yeah, this is really pretty. I'm excited to try this out. It's very like, it's got like many layers to it. Definitely a really pretty fragrance. I love, I love this house so much from what I have smelled. Yum, okay, loving this. Okay, next we have another little box here. This one is um, Cavort, which is Fragrance du Bois. There we go. Some of these sprayers aren't that great. Ooh, interesting. It smells like gasoline. <laughs> it it smell it has this very screechy like cleaning product slash gasoline smell to it, but it's like good at the same time. I don't know what is going on with this. What an interesting fragrance. It smells like pledge with like tobacco smoke. I know this sounds terrible. And maybe there's like some citrus or like some mango or pineapple or something kind of creeping in. Like it's got a little bit of like a sweet tart smell happening. Very smoky, very like rubbery. This is very screechy. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This is definitely one that I'll have to wear on skin before I figure out what's going on. It's a similar um, experience to Slow Explosions by Imaginary Authors in that it's just kind of like smacking you in the face every five seconds. Um, is there Magnolia in here? Is there Saffron? Is there Hyacinth? <laughs> 
yeah, right now I'm getting lemon pledge with tobacco, but I'm very excited to wear this on skin and see what happens. Okay, next we have the long awaited Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. I cannot believe that I haven't smelled this yet because I've smelled almost every other thing from the house. I think the only other one I haven't smelled is lipstick, lipstick fever. And this is one of the most raved about fragrances, especially when we start talking about like summer coconut um, type. I mean, it's not a coconut fragrance, I don't think, but you know, those like kind of at the beach summer fragrances. Okay, let's give this a sniff. I'm really excited for this one. This just leaked all over my hands. Ooh. Yep, this is nice. I see the appeal. It's reminding me of, it's reminding me of, it's like if Soleil Blanc and Santal Blush had a baby, actually. Interesting. That's, okay. I definitely need a full bottle of this. This smells really good. I'm gonna wear test this, but like this is definitely my favorite so far. It smells like if, this is my best description of it, if Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc and Tom Ford's Santal Blush had a baby, it would smell like this. This is really pretty. It's like got that beachy, like kind of sun soaked, sun tanned, like sun tanned skin with a little bit of suntan lotion still on it. Um, but like a little vanilla-y. It's not so much like coconutty. It's like if you had vanilla suntan lotion on and you can, it's almost like you can smell like the salt air. This is really, really, really pretty. 10 out of 10. Super pumped on this. Okay, sticking with the beach theme. Now we've got Mason Margiela Replica's Beach Walk which is another one that I have yet to try. Very excited. Hmm. It's hard smelling this one right after Vanilla Vibes because it's like kind of similar and not as good, to be honest. Um, it definitely has like a kind of sandy, coconutty kind of thing. Very similar to vanilla vibes, but more coconut, less vanilla, and not as expertly blended, to be honest. I'm also smelling this kind of like floral thing going on here. It's still pretty. I should have smelled this one first, maybe, um, because it, it is really pretty. I'm excited to wear test it. It's just like not, vanilla vibes like blew me away, and this is just like not, it's coming in second place. Um, this one's a little bit more floral. It's this is more of a beach walk like like maybe you're walking along the beach in the morning and like you're walking close enough um, like away from the water that like maybe you're walking by some like blooming flowers. This is more of like a morning beach walk vibe whereas the other ones like vanilla vibes is like the end of the day like you're sweaty, you're like sun baked, that kind of a thing. Yeah, this is still really pretty. I'm really excited to wear test it. Okay, next. Maison Francis Curjon. Gentle Fluidity Silver, I believe. Um, I'm trying not to read the notes. I think it's I think it's silver. I think, yeah, it is silver. Anna Lauren, if you watch this, I think you're the one that told me if I like or I think this is the fragrance. You said something. I don't know if you're watching this. So I'm just going to speak as if you're watching. You said if you like Architects Club, you would like this. And I think it was this, which is why I bought it. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> so let's give it a whirl. This is maybe one that I'm like the most excited about, to be honest. Oh. This. Weird. This smells like a gin and tonic. This smells very masculine to me. And it reminds me of something. I'm having a memory. It smells like tonic water and gin and like 
some citrus. It's like super crisp and cold and clean and sparkly. Um, this is very masculine to me. I don't think this is the one. Maybe it is. I'm smelling juniper berries maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This feels a little too masculine for me, but again, I'm going to wear it on skin and see what happens. Definitely super refreshing. It definitely smells like a gin and tonic. Full disclosure, when I think I was like 15, the first time I ever drank alcohol and got really drunk and we drank gin from my mom's liquor cabinet thinking she wouldn't notice it was gone. And I was in a really tough spot that night. <laughs> and so for a long time, I couldn't smell anything that smelled like gin without feeling nauseous. Uh, but this smells really good. It's like kind of earthy. Yeah, there's something, this is really pretty. There's something really, oh God, I wish I could pinpoint what that smell is. It's like totally bringing me back to a memory. To be continued. I'm gonna put this in one of my, um, seven sample series episodes and dive a little bit deeper into this because I need to wear it on my skin first, but it's like, it's bringing up some memory for me and I can't put my finger on it. <clears throat> okay. We have two left. The next one is, oh, these, okay. These next two are ones that like literally, um, oh, I have more than two left. There's a couple in this one. That's why. Okay. Um, this next one is one of the most talked about fragrances on YouTube and I have never smelled it and I'm super excited to give this a go. I've heard people say it smells like a rainy day. Um, I believe it's got like a fig sandalwood thing going on. So this is, um, BDK's Gris Chernel. So, oh. And I've never smelled anything from BDK before, which I know it's absurd. So I'm branching out. I'm smelling all the things that everyone's talking about. <laughs> Putting my big girl pants on. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited for this. I hope I love it. Ooh. This smells like a cup of Earl Grey tea on a rainy day. Oh my God, this is everything that everyone's talking about. Like, this is why everyone's obsessed. This smells really, 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 really good. This might be bumping out vanilla vibes for number one. It definitely smells masculine. Um, like I would say it leans more masculine than feminine, but I'm definitely gonna wear the crap out of this. This smells really good. It smells like, is there fig? I believe there's fig. It smells like smoky fig Earl Grey tea. I can literally like smell the experience of being like curled up on a couch, like in a big giant knitted blanket with a cup of tea and looking outside and it's like, like rainy and dreary and you just feel like super comforted. This is maybe the best thing I've smelled in a very long time. Oh my God, I think I'm obsessed. Okay, this is definitely the one I'm most excited to try. This is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is it. But we still have a couple more to smell. So, so far, three shard out. Like, look at my face. I'm beaming. This is amazing. Okay, the next two or three. <laughs> I think there's three in here. So, Vil Wilhelm Parfumerie. I have smelled some of them, but I do not remember. And I think it's because... I think I smelled them the day that I was in that giant department store in Paris. It's the day I found my Belle de Freak. I've talked about it a couple times on the channel. Um, I think I kind of like went too fast through this. I can't remember if it was there or at like an airport duty free place, but I do remember smelling a couple of these and I don't remember what they were and I was just blasting through like I was not giving it adequate time and attention. So yeah, I got three. Oh, how cute are these? Look at these little that's cute. So I got Dear Polly, Mango Skin, and Poets of Berlin. I'm going to do Poets of Berlin first because if you guys don't know, at some point you'll see it. I've not yet filmed in my office, but if and when I do, you'll see my 
David Bowie painting. Um, I'm like obsessed with David Bowie, like literally obsessed. He's like my version of God. <laughs> Is anyone else as obsessed with David Bowie as I am? Uh, so my boyfriend bought me that painting for Christmas a couple of years ago. I'm just like obsessed. And I heard someone say that Poets of Berlin was created like with him in mind or there's some tie to David Bowie with Poets of Berlin. I know it's a blueberry fragrance. And then I've got Dear Polly, which I'll smell second. I think that's a tea fragrance, if I remember correctly. And then Mango Skin, I'm gonna save for last because this is the one I hear everyone talking about all the time. Um, and I love mango, so yeah, I'm excited to try that. Okay, let's start with Poets of Berlin. I don't have like an expectation for this. I obviously want to love it if it has anything to do with David Bowie, but I also am not like attached to my thoughts on this. Oh, I just sprayed it all over my hand. Oh, interesting. Interesting. It definitely smells like blueberries. Like it's it's like you if you took a handful of blueberries and squished them in your hand. Hmm. It smells like stemmy. Like you can smell like crushed stems and maybe like is there some vanilla in there maybe hmm this is interesting I, sm I feel like I smell dead grasshoppers <laughs> is that a thing yeah this I don't know what to think about this this is definitely something I'll have to play with and wear it on skin. It's just odd, it's very odd. But I could see that maybe I could fall in love with it actually. Um, yeah, I need, I need time with that one for sure. Okay, next we have Dear Polly, which I know some people freak out about this perfume, so. Let's see if I'm one of the ones. Ooh. This is definitely like a straight up tea scent, but not like an Earl Grey, like Gris Charnel, but more of like a Nez tea. Um, this is very similar to Nest Indigo, which I just reviewed in a seven sample series. And I talked about how it kind of reminded me of that smell of that, the Nest tea, the iced lemon Nest tea that we used to drink in the cans in like the early nineties. It smells like, it smells like that, but then there's also something else in here that I don't know what it is. It smells really pretty. Ooh, yeah, this is really nice. Something floral in there that I'm having a hard time putting my finger on. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. This is definitely coming up in third place for me for everything so far. Um, I'm definitely excited to try this to wear it out, wear it on skin. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, and last but not least, the probably most hyped up one out of the whole bunch, <laughs> Mango Skin. I have really high expectations for this, and it's because of like 10 different YouTubers that said this was amazing. Whoa. It's like straight up mango juice. It's like, is it when the mango isn't ripe enough yet or when it's overripe? This is what I'm having a hard time. I feel like it's like a not quite ripe enough mango. Like it's not like, it's a little bit of a more of a green mango, I think, than like the super juicy overripe mango. I think is what I'm smelling. Yeah, definitely mango. It's it's like a hit of juice. Like it's kind of fizzy and sparkly. Um very yeah, very juicy. This is very realistic mango. But it also kind of smells like a syrupy soda, but not in a bad way. Definitely excited to try this. I feel like I can't fully get a feel for a fragrance unless I've worn it on skin. Um, but so yeah, I'm really excited to give this a shot.
Okay, that is it for the Twisted Lily fragrance haul. I feel like my nose is about to break. <laughs> I have another um, first impressions blind sniff video to do. Um, I went to Target the other night and I bought the Mix Bar Discovery Set. And I'll be going through that and reviewing that in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments. I know like most, if you're into perfume, you've probably smelled most of these fragrances already. I'm just like a little bit late to the party. I was kind of resisting for a very long time, honestly. Um, I'm really excited. I feel like Gris Charnel was definitely the highlight of this experience, followed by Vanilla Vibes and Dear Polly, and I'm still really excited to wear test all of them and get a better feel for them. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you love some of these fragrances, if you don't love them, and um, if you're new to my channel, please take a second and subscribe, like this video, comment below. Anything helps. I'm a brand spanking new channel. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!